Howdy folks, welcome to another video. And this is one that I'm really, really excited about. We are going to be pairing two, well, a swim bait head to head versus each other with two different colors. Probably the two most important colors for a swim bait in the South. Would you agree with that? 100%. I mean, if I, if you're asking me, Lojo, straight up, okay, jointed swim bait, right? What color should I throw? If you live anywhere other than like the, the North, and the Northwest, Midwest, or even the, maybe even the Midwest. Right. I don't even know, I could be selling myself short. This could just be the best colors everywhere. But if you ask me, give me two colors, two patterns, what should I throw? I'm gonna say, well, Chad, first of all. White, right? Yeah. Chad? Yeah. And then I'm probably gonna say Bren, AKA Bluegill, AKA more of a natural color, sunfish, you know, that whole family of baits. Well, we have one of each of those baits, and not only that, but there's some of the best little swim baits that exists in the world today. And that is of course, the Mike Buka Baby Bullshad, baby. Made by Ketchco, of course, but as you guys can see, we've got the shad pattern right there, and we've got the little bluegill pattern. Boom, head to head. How are these things gonna fare? Which one would you throw? Batch, what are you taking? It, Shad, bluegill, what do you think? It depends, where are we going? That's, see, that's the thing. That, it always, it depends, right? Because if, if your pond or your lake doesn't have shad, you could make a case that the bluegill is gonna be better. Right. But a white bait fish doesn't have to be a shad. It yeah. could be a big minnow or even a shiner or something. Right. So, I'm fine. Oh, shoot. It's fine. Anyways, me and Badger are gonna get to the bottom of this little rivalry right here. We've got a couple of each. We've got some backups right here just in case we lose the two that we've got. Once we go to the fishing spot, me and Badger are both gonna pick our poison here. We'll flip a coin, see who goes first. We're gonna pick one, the other one's gonna get the other one, and we're stuck with that color all day. The purpose of this is just to see, do a little experiment, a little pond fishing, bank fishing experiment, getting back to the roots of the channel when we just hop from pond to pond and fish lures we wanna catch big bass with. Now, by the end of this video, you're going to be asking me two questions. One, where do I get these baits at? And two, how many can I buy at one time? Because these things are some of the best little swim baits I've ever used in my life. The answer to the first question is shopcarls.com, folks. That's where you want to get these baits. Let me tell you why. If you go to Shop Carl's, which there'll be a link right in the top of the description of this video, if you go to Shop Carl's and become a Carl's Club member, which is free to do, by the way, you can get 30 percent off of a lot of baits in the store, including sometimes these guys right here. So you're gonna get them a lot cheaper than you can get them in the store most of the time. These are of course not the only baits you can get on Shop Curls, they're just the ones we're gonna be using in today's video. So big shout out to them for sponsoring today's video. Badger and I both have a very, very love, not a love-hate relationship, just a straight love relationship with these swim baits. You guys will see. We'll talk more about like the action and what we like about them and the hooks, at the pond, but just know that these are some of our favorite swim baits of all time. Before we head to the pond, folks, remember real quick, we're on the road to a million subscribers on this channel. We can do it because it's free to subscribe and there's like 40% of you guys, which is tens of thousands of people who watch my videos and you're not subscribed. So take five seconds right now, click that red button below the video, make it turn gray, enable the bell notification, that way you guys do not miss an upload, a giveaway, or anything like that. Let's go to the pond badge, let's catch some swim bait fish. All right, let's get a couple of these out of the package before we actually decide which one we want. I know me and you both kind of are really familiar with these, but for the people at home, they may not be. Because these are pretty new, right? They just came out like a year ago. Yeah. All right? Shout out to Mike Buka for bringing this to life. Triton Mike Buka, baby. So here you go. So it's it's a pretty standard design on the surface. So you've got a multi-jointed swim bait. We've got three joints, four body pieces, two hooks pretty simple right here's where things get really crazy first of all this tail right here is so realistic and because of this i don't even know what material this is a paintbrush dog right but it's it makes it more durable yeah. because of that Correct. and it just gives it a great action in the water number two these hooks are stupid sticky like there's some skin right there yeah shake it off can't shake it off that's a good hook right there i just barely got my skin third of all their slow sinking badge. Which is the best. Which is the best feature of a swim bait to me because we fish a lot of ponds. Right. So they're gonna be shallow. If you pause for a second, you don't wanna be down on the grass. You want it to just yeah. kinda, ouch, ouch. You want it to be swimming and then you stop it and it just goes like this. That way that bass is looking at it, gives them plenty of opportunity to eat it. Now just looking at these two color wise, those are some pretty good colors, man. 
I just don't know if there's going to be two colors of swim baits that are going to be better than these two. Yeah, me neither. All right, well, let's get the old coin flipper out. Flipper. All right, so that's what heads looks like. Oh, boy. I'm back. <laughs> I'm going to let you call since you're the guest on the channel. One, two, three. Heads. Yeah, boy. I'm pretty sure it's heads every time, man. I think it was tail. Well, I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah, frick that app. It squigged me again. Okay, so you get the first choice, and obviously I'm going to be stuck with the second. I'm gonna get oh, the going shad. bluegill. Bluey. Okay, well, I could tell you what. You could be doing a lot worse than a shad pattern. So let's uh, rig these bad boys up and get a closer look at them in the water. All right, let's put the extras in the old back pocket here. Hopefully we won't need them. This isn't really a pond where we break off a lot, so I no. think we'll be okay. Although me and you are just break off kings. That's our, that's our thing. <laughs> the whole internet's just constantly roasting us for always breaking off. Oh, wow, that was really close. Woo, that was close. Dang, this water's dirty, bro. It's really dirty. God, look at all that dang structure in the water, man. Holy moly. Let's get this thing in the water. I'm gonna try to get Get you guys a visual representation of kind of how this thing looks and how it falls. It's going to be hard to see because it is so murky. But it's a typical multi-jointed swim bait action. As you guys can see, super realistic swimming motion right there. Look at that badge. Look at that. Like it's, it's just got such a good motion. But I'm trying to show you guys how slowly it falls. Like it slows, it falls really slow. Like I'm pausing it and it's not even getting to the ground and it's only in a foot of water. So that's... Pretty cool. Badge is already fishing. <laughs> By the way, uh, I think this should just make this a nice little 60 minute thing. Right, most most fish. I like that. Let's do it. Gosh. You may have an advantage in this murky water. It's yeah. got a little bit more color to it, but I really think the shad will get donked too. So Badge, what's what's your strategy with a swim bait? Are you like a straight retrieve guy? Are you a pause guy? Are you a rip and kill? What what are you what are you working with here? And we'll explain the difference between all those in just a second. Well, I watched a video that actually Mike Buka made. So the guy who made the swim right. bait, and he said over grass and crank it so it does the S movement on top. When you see a fish wake, just kill it. So oh, so right under the surface. Yeah. See how that S is on top of the water? And it's creating its own little wake. Yep. Wait, see if you see a fish come up. If you see one, just. Oh, Slow wow. Sink. It's got such like a sideways move uh -huh. too when you kill it. That's crazy. So real quick, just for you guys, if they're not swim bait fishermen, you typically got a couple retrieves you can do. A lot of people would just do a normal, you know, normal, simple wind, slow roll. It's making it do its little S curve thing. You've also got people who will burn it and then kill it. Burn it, kill it, AKA like a, like a pause. You know, you can do that with a lot of different baits, but I've seen people that just really crank it and then kill it. Crank kill then you've got what badger was talking about which is just right under the surface like that and then when you visually see a bass wake on it kill it and let it just kind of do a sideways cocking motion so i'm sure we're going to do a little bit of everything today but we'll let you guys know uh not just what bait does well but what kind of a retrieve does well as well well as well as well i'm going to stop talking now i think i just got hit i think i just had one like nip at the tail that's crazy. Liking this wind, man. I think it'll be good for the way you're talking about fishing it too, like just right on top. Ooh, there's something chasing. Oh, that's you. <laughs> I, for some reason, I thought you cast it over there. That's hilarious. I saw that wake and I was like, oh God, it's a bait fish getting chased right there. Oh, oh, one just chased it, swiped at it. Get in there, badge. He chased it. He was right in this, in the middle of this little bowl. Came up and just swatted at it. I couldn't tell. Just saw the flash. Didn't look particularly big. It was just, it would have been a fish. Dang. That's worrying me about this color, guys. I'm really worried about this color. I think, I mean, white's an amazing color. It's just the, the, the water here. It's so dirty right now because of the recent rainfall. Because he looked really interested and then just, you know, swiped away. That makes me a wee bit nervous. But at least we got some action so far. Badges just look so much better in this dark water. How is there not one off this tree right here? Oh God, there's a bass right in front of me. I can't move because he'll see me. He just kind of looked at it. Got him. 
pretty pretty good gosh that was such a crazy bite i'm gonna yoink him gotta do it <laughs> oh he came out no oh, that counts though right yeah, yeah I got him it. on got him on the bank <laughs> dang it oh my gosh that was crazy so right there i was i was just saying like, how was there not a fish on this tree yeah and so i cast it back at the tree and once i oh geez we got some squid going yeah. on so once i got like right in front of me so about like right here started like slowing down and twitching it like that and i saw the fish like turn around oh. but i'd already pulled it out of the water so i just like i didn't move flipped it right back in did the same thing but like let it fall more right right just, like twitched it and i like, just let it fall right on top of his head and he had it gosh that's cool wow my heart is freaking <laughs> heart is going man wow all right so one for the shad color that was a nice fish too that was a really good fish That's one of the better ones we've seen out here recently yeah for me it may be more of a mental game with this color they may not love it yeah but it may be one of the things if i can get it really close to them and just pop it and twitch it like that they may just eat it off of sheer principle because <laughs> that one just fell on his head and he was just like what the freak so all right bad get back in there one to nothing He followed me in. Don't do it. He followed me in. Why do they like that and not? I know, right? Oh, it's so weird. I don't. I don't. We don't know if that's the case yet. It's still early to say. Were you just cranking or were you popping? I was cranking that time. Oh my God! He's a he's a squiggler. Jeez, that guy is a freaking feisty little mama. Look at him. Look, Look at, at him. You. He's gonna get away. Self-releasing fish left and right. I believe in the quick release. <laughs> So that is number two for the shad. So I don't, now I'm fishing behind Badger too. That's the thing. We made a little rule off camera that if you catch a fish, the other person takes the lead. That way we keep it 100% fair. So now I'm fishing behind Badge. That bloody, bloody little tail right there. Dude, spawned what? Spawned out, yeah, spawned wow. out female, or spawned out, or I, don't, I don't know, male. Maybe I don't, it came I don't know. through the bed. Right. Yeah. Who knows? So I mean, it was like right there, but. I don't think it's safe to say yet that there's a color disparity. Like the first one, I just happened to see the fish yeah, yeah. and I irritated it into a bite. So let's take that one off the board for a second. Okay. That one, that was a clean bite out in the middle. You've already fished that. Right. So that's a situation where color may have mattered. But I think if I get another bite from behind you, like fishing stuff you've already fished, I think then we might have something to base this on. But I just feel, man, as good as that bluegill swim bait looks, I just feel like it's, it's going to get hit. Yeah. There's no way these fish could be that picky. Yeah. I don't think so. You, you guys let me know in the comment section how much do you think these bass can really distinguish these color differences, especially in muddy water. So let us know what you think. I'm sure you guys are already in that comment section picking your side here. But uh, yeah, it's starting to look like shad might be on the, the lunch menu today. I feel like I keep seeing shadows in the water. I, it's just so hard to say whether it's a fish or just a shadow or even a stick but it does keep your nerves on edge when you're throwing a little swim bait that could catch a mondo at any second i'm hungry yeah, it, made me, it made me so excited i was about to say bluegill is on the table as well did i fish Come on. It's not bad. Not a bad fish. Yeah. Crunched it, dude. You ain't getting off the Mike Buka hooks, baby. Come here. Dude, that's a pretty fish. It is. Looks like a completely different breed than the one that I just caught. Look at that fat fish, dude. Oh. Mouth. Full swim bait, baby. Just choking Mike Buka down. You see, we were starting to think yeah. that we, we should have never thought that. We, we should have never thought that the shad that. was going to outperform a bluegill swim bait. The thing for me is that I've always noticed is when it rains like this, mm -hmm. these fish get all up in the structure, and it's hard to fish in trees and stuff with a swim bait. True. But nice fish, man. That. What a beauty. Yeah. All right, one for the bluegill, but just like that, you feel like you get some momentum. Yeah, you know? I feel better. It's a, it's a pretty little fish, man. Woo! Took right off. Yep. Very nice, man. 
you're back in the game. We're about halfway through this challenge, about 30 minutes in, two to one lead. Very close two to one because I did lose that fish, but yeah. it did get on the bank. Right, right. So I don't have a problem taking credit for that one. But dude, one for the little bluegill. Booyah, you've, got, baby. you've actually been hung a couple times too. You've been yeah, lucky to keep that thing as long as you have. Yeah, it's a little frayed, but I've tied twice today, and I'm kind of over that. You yeah, know what I mean? I feel you. So. Well, all right. Well, uh, that means you caught a fish, so I get to take the lead. Take again, the lead, right? Poppy. Right, let's freaking go, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh, me too. That's my specialty. Swim jigs and trees. Doubled up on snags. <laughs> Doubled up on the oaks, baby. <laughs> Gotta love it, man. Mine is on there too. This is a problem. We have one back up, but that's all we got. That'd be very fitting for us to lose them at the same time. God, I don't want to get hit with this thing. I'm going to get back a little bit. <laughs> Try to pull it loose from back here. Oh gosh, broke. Come to daddy. Gotta play him at the bank. Don't you come off. Uh, no. Lip job. Quick release. But yeah, baby. At least we salvaged one of them. But that does mean I'm down to my last swim bait, which could be a factor here, because if I run out of swim baits, and there's still time left. That means he's fishing against nobody. Shame. Oh my god, another one! Him. Yes! There was like three fish on this bank. <laughs> oh! I just got swiped that. Oh, Alright, well we know what to do after a swiper. Now we're going to give him the twitcher. Right on his face. There you Oh, I, I had him. I had him. <laughs> Look at you. Look at that. Embracing, embracing the spirit. Man, they swipe at it and you go back and slow it down and give them this twitch, man. It's it's just hard for them not to eat it. I think that I may have got them a little bit that time. I may have hooked them. Yeah. Wow, that's funny. That's so cool though how you can manipulate the motion of your swim bait. It's kind of unlike a lot of baits in that regard. You can really manipulate what it's doing and just get a completely different reaction from the uh, the bass. That's one thing I never even talked to you guys about in the beginning was like the twitch factor with these slow sinking swim baits you can like almost work them like a jerk bait but they go like side to side and they almost like turn around as you guys can see right here they turn it, it just it's a really good look for when you've got fish that are interested but they're not quite eating it oh, oh that was sick dang it not even a big That's fish probably just cleaned up the one that oh I my missed. gosh dude i just paused it and just wow. see it come out and say come here boy so you, were, you were doing that when, we, when i was just talking about like exactly kind of I, awesome, I retrieved man. it all the way to the to the grass edge yeah stopped it right at the grass edge so you were giving her the old twitcher eh the old twitcher i just stopped it and just let it slow sink down you know how we were talking oh, about yeah. slow sinkers yeah it's got it's... a little blue on its face yeah, it's a pretty little... fish this looks like a, like a hybrid bluegill. Yeah. Really weird looking. It's a little hybrid bass. Dude, tie ball game, man. We've switched ponds, obviously, guys, and uh, we're in the fourth quarter now. Go ahead and uh, send her. We're in the fourth quarter. The ball game is tied up. I think we got like 10 or 15 minutes, so it's going to be one of those situations where maybe the next fish wins, you know? Yeah, yeah. So if we're, we're tied up, we got to do it like that. We got to get down to the itty gritty. Yeah, well, we are freaking shad versus Shed. bluegill we are bluegill we are in the fourth quarter boys let's get it man oh god something just swirled get it. bass can just be like invisible too man like you just can't see them a lot of times they'll be like right behind your bait and you can't even see oh no no! How did I get it? I saw it. I went right. I was trying to go right over top of it. Oh my gosh! This might just straight squig me. Yeah, Don't look at it, Badge. Let me get behind you. Don't get behind me. <laughs> oh, I'm pulling it. Okay, good, good, good. We'll get your hopes up, buddy. Oh, I'm getting my hopes way up. As long as we can reach that front twig. Oh God, the wind's blowing. <laughs> Son of a gun. Can we reach it? Yeah, you got that. Might be able to poke it off if nothing else. Oh, come on, man. Will you hold my rod? Yeah, always. <laughs> Just don't pull, don't pull. Just hold it tight. Nice. That's a wall hanger. <laughs> this is a freaking marlin. And it just comes right off. I love it. <laughs> well, that was clutch right there. I thought my 
thought my life was over. It was just on like a little tree knot. Put that tree back where it needs to go, right? Fish? No. Yep. No. Oh, badge, you son of a biscuit. That a little guy. Oh, I I'll thought I was. Him. Get up, boy. Oh, man. Bluegill. Dang. Nice little fish. Pretty fish. Pretty. Son of a gun. Well, I got to get back in because there's only like five minutes left. That Buka gang, baby. Blue gang, blue gang. Boo gang. I can't believe it. Oh, no. I just got snagged again. Jesus. I've lost my composure now, see. See, little fella. <laughs> my composure's gone. The comeback season, baby. Little Baylor versus Gonzaga action. Gonzaga? Because I hadn't won a freaking championship in about 70 years. Dang, son. Why? Because it's over, bad. That's why. There you have it, folks. What a comeback, man. Yeah. What a freaking comeback. Jumped out to a 2 nothing lead on the shad. Right. And I could see in your face. You were getting a little discouraged. I was. I was thinking, like, I was so positive coming in. Yeah. And then you just catch like a three and then kick it in the face. <laughs> Kicked it right back in the water. <laughs> yeah, that was a hell of a comeback and, and you know, the snag hurt me. I got snagged a couple times towards the end, lost one. And um, I don't know, but I, I don't think we proved that a color was superior. Although the bluegill one is the one that reigns superior today. Very close. I think we proved more than anything that a swim bait is a versatile pond lure, which kind of brings us to what I want to, I want to break down a little bit for you guys kind of how we were fishing and just like the, the tip side of things. A lot of you really enjoy that. But for those of you who don't want tips, it was really close and it was really fun. But so me and Badge were both fishing these on very similar setups. We had go-to rods, which is basically equivalent to a seven foot medium, heavy power, fast action, which when it comes right down to it is the most versatile casting rod that exists, in my opinion, yeah. which is why we made it a go-to rod, because you can throw basically anything on it. Right. You could throw this on a reaction rod, which is a good cranking stick. You could throw it on a heavy, a muscle, you know? We just felt like go-tos was the best option for us, plus we wanted to make it fair. I think we were both using about 15 pound fluoro, it may have been 20, but basically heavy fluorocarbon line. Fluorocarbon obviously sinks, which is what we want. I wanted to get the bait down there in the water column a little bit. Reel doesn't matter at all. You don't need a $300 Shimano reel, kids. You don't need that. You just need something that you can put that line on. But we like fast gear ratio reels. That's just how we roll. So yeah, as far as the tip side, how did you catch your fish as far as how you were working the lure? Because I kind of broke down earlier in the video how we were like to work swim baits, the different ways to work swim baits. How did you find the most luck? What were you doing? Started with the S curve on top mm. of the water, didn't get touched. Just burning it. Right. Yeah. And then the two or all three fish I caught were on a pause. It was slow wow. falling. So wow. the thing is though, this pond has been pounded by rain. Had that yeah, dirty water, true. these fish weren't honing in on much. You had to put it in their face. They weren't. And one of mine was on like a twitching and a pause type situation right. too. So I think the pause, and like we said in the beginning, the slow falling uh, baits like this, slow falling swim baits are always my favorite because you can do that even in like three and four feet of water. With a real big heavy swim bait that sinks, if you pause it, it's gonna be down in the grass, down in the mud. But with these slow sinkers, man, you can keep it paused for a solid like one count or two count even, and it's not at the bottom of the pond yet. So versatile bait, obviously I told you guys shopcarls.com is where you can get these things often at a very big discount if you join Carl's Club for free. So click the link at the top of the description if you wanna check these out. Big shout out to Carl's Bait and Tackle for sponsoring today's video. Had a great time with Badge, kind of doing some bank fishing, pond fishing, back to our roots, little 1v1 bait challenges. If you guys are enjoying those types of videos, make sure you smash the thumbs up button as always, and make sure you are subscribing to the channel. That way we can get to a million subs this year. Go check out Badge at AO Fishing. That way you can see what he's been up to these days. Thanks, man. Thank you guys for watching. We are out of here.